Hey, Hawthorne Bears, are you ready for another Esta mystery? Awesome. This one is called Rocky Vase. This one's probably geared towards grade second through fourth, but I think first and fifth graders will probably have fun with it as well. Um, up front, I always, as always, I want to thank Steve White Borney for creating these slides and letting us um, use them for these uh, presentations. So let's begin. I've got a vase here uh, with some blue rocks in it. Go ahead and estimate how many of those blue rocks you think are in there. And by the way, go Guardian. Go ahead and take a look and estimate how many rocks do you think are in that vase. And as we go through this, we're going to give some clues to help you narrow down what the right answer is. Um, now, as you get more information, you may find out that your initial estimate is incorrect that we cross it out and if so that's okay just fine-tune your guess so do you have your estimate okay i'd like you to go ahead and write down your initial estimate or tell somebody in the room how many you think it is all right let's go ahead and get started there's going to be four clues on this one the first clue is the answer is less than 60. so that means the answer has to be between 1 and 59. So I've put together a hundreds chart here, but since we know it's less than 60, we can cross out the number 60 all the way to 100. So that leaves one through 59. Did we cross out your number? If so, that's okay. Uh, go ahead and update your estimate. All right, do you have your new estimate ready? All right, here we go. Let's take a look at clue number two. Clue number two says, count by threes from three to 60 and cross off all those numbers. Now, for those of you that are in third or fourth or fifth grade, what would we call this? Yeah, these are our threes facts or multiples of threes. Otherwise, it's skip counting by threes. So if we were to go through and look at our chart, we would start at three and skip count. And anytime we get to one that we're skip counting by three, we would cross that number out. So we'd cross off three, six, nine, 12, and so on. Go ahead and take a look at this chart for a minute. And which numbers would you cross out? Go ahead and think which numbers on here should we get rid of? Now, it's interesting, you're going to see that when I, when I cross out the threes, it's actually going to be, when you look at a hundreds chart, it's an interesting pattern that will show up. Let's take a look. Look at that. Everything's diagonal. But as you can see, every third number we crossed off, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. These are all what we would call multiples of three. All right, so did we cross out your number? If so, that's all right. Go ahead and fine tune your estimate. Um, write it down or tell somebody what your new estimate is. If your number's still on there, great. Okay. Are you guys ready for clue number three? I want you to cross off all the even numbers. So what's an even number? So an even number, if you remember, if we look at our chart here, an even number means it can be split equally between two people or two piles. So even numbers end with a two, four, six, eight, or zero. So we should cross off any of those numbers that are even numbers. So the case of 32, we would cross out because it ends in a two. So cross out anything with a two, four, six, eight or zero this is what it would look like all right now the numbers that are left what do we call those if you said odd numbers you're correct these numbers that end in one three five seven or nine are odd numbers they cannot be split equally between two people or two piles so take a look did we cross off your uh, your estimate if so, go ahead and update your estimate. 
in math, when you get more information, you can fine tune your guess. So go ahead, take the new information we have and make an updated estimate. All right, let's take a look at the fourth clue. The answer does not include the digits three, seven, or nine. All right, let's take a look at our numbers. So when it says it does not include the digits three, seven, or nine, that means those digits cannot appear in either the ones column or the tens column. So let's look at the ones column first. We want to cross off all these numbers that end in a three, seven, or nine, because there's a three, seven, or nine in the ones column. Now we can also cross off all the 30s because there's a three in the tens column. So let's go ahead and get rid of all those numbers that have a three, seven, or nine in the ones or tens column. That was a lot. So that leaves us with just six numbers. So go ahead, look at those numbers. Think about what your estimate is. If we cross it out, go ahead and make a new estimate. Or if you want to fine tune your estimate and make a new one, that's fine. But I want you to go ahead and write down, what is your final estimate on the number of blue rocks in this glass? So here's the glass again. And here's the numbers that are left. What is your estimate? Do you think you have it? Okay, I want you to go tell somebody in the room, if you can, what your estimate is and why you chose that number. Why did you choose that one? All right, everybody got their final estimate? Let's see the answer. The answer is, 41 rocks. There are 41 guardian rocks in that vase. Great job, guys. Hopefully you got it. If not, that's okay. We're going to keep doing these, fine-tuning those estimation skills. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Can't wait to see you back in school next year. Take care.